Hi, this is Mark Meckler for craftingastrategy.com, and this is a strategy short. I want to talk really quickly about designing to cost, bottom up, top down budgeting, and profit engineering. The main idea is how do I make a profitable cheeseburger? Okay, you need to think about a few major things when you're designing something from the start to make money. First of all, is the market sets the price. You don't really get to set the price. The market sets the price. Find out how much people pay for that particular good elsewhere or that benefit elsewhere, and that's about what people are willing to pay for it. All the other things are equal. Second, use top-down, bottom-up budgeting. You can look at the McGrath and McMillan paper or our write-up about it so you can see what that is in detail. I'll explain a little bit quickly in a moment. Third, include your required profit as part of your costs. So if you need to make $12,000 a month in profit, then include $12,000 as part of a, as a profit requirement and put it right into your cost structure, into your budget. If it's 15%, then take 15% of the revenue and that goes in as one of the costs. Um, next, design to the allowable cost. Whatever's less, whatever's left over after you your profit and what your revenue estimate is, well then, uh, then you have your non non-product costs, all your overhead, what's left over, you have to design to that. Design to cost. And last, when you're designing, design to your heart's content. Give your designers, your chef if it's food or somebody else, the constraints of how much money they have left, and then tell them, go to it, be creative. Give me something, give me a cheeseburger, for example, for $2.44, which is how our example will end up. Okay, so the main deal here is, let's say uh, when, when you, uh, um, you've you got um, revenue that's going to come in of about uh, $83,000. Uh, I have a spreadsheet that I share with our members. About, we estimate that this one particular uh, brew pub, small place, has $83,000 in change coming in every month from their uh, cheeseburgers. And for dining supplies, 2% of that goes for dining supplies, and 20% goes to payroll and 5% to benefits. And for uh, equipment replacement, they budget 2%, and advertising gets 5% of that, and utilities is about 3000 bucks a month, 3 and change. That's a 4 or something percent left over. They budget for theft and pilferage and loss and things like that, about 4%, which is a lot, but... That's what seems to be happening at their place. And then there's the rent. It's $2,200, and they have a loan payment that they have to make for uh, $1,000 a month approximately. And they've got their uh, uh, administrative or accounting bookkeeper that they hire in to come at halftime every every month, and that's uh, a couple thousand dollars a month. And, in, and they want to make 15% because the founders said, we'll give you the money. We need to make 15% on this. So... Uh, if uh, you're making 15% on about $83,000 in change, it means they're required to have a profit of about $12,470. You add all that up, and while the non-food costs of, of this venture, the total non-food costs are about $45,000, $45,142 is the non-food costs. And if you take your profit and you add it to your non-food costs, you've got non-food cost plus profit requirement of $57,612. Well, they're expecting to sell about 10,457 cheeseburgers. And that's because they have a certain amount of seats in their place, and they have about two table turns during uh, lunch and three table turns during dinner. I think they have about 40 seats. And everybody, uh, on average, one person gets one cheeseburger. And if you add it all up, and they get some takeout uh, service, and that's a certain amount, maybe a couple hundred a day times six days a week times four point something weeks per month and multiply it out and that's about how many cheeseburgers they're expecting to sell in a month so we can get uh, from our calculation which you can also see you, can, you get the uh, required average contribution margin we need to get about five dollars and fifty one cents contributed per cheeseburger sold well if the market price is seven dollars and ninety five cents per cheeseburger well seven ninety five minus five fifty one we're left with two dollars and forty four cents to make our cheeseburger so you give that number to your designer, and that sometimes that's your chef, and sometimes it's you or somebody else, and you say, look, I, I got, I got $2.44. And then they tell you, well, you know what, in the kitchen, 
we always get at least 1% waste. Even when we're, we're really careful, 1% waste. So take a 1% away from our uh, a 244. We're, we're left with uh, you know a little less than that. And he says, look, i got to design it for $2.36. Otherwise, you're never going to come back, given the waste and yields and, and so forth. So that's real also. You say, good for you. OK, for $2.36, design me a cheeseburger. They say, well, that's going to be tough, given the price of ground meat and you want to uh, the market standard has got to be at least a quarter pound cheeseburger for seven ninety five. That's what people are selling. We say, well, you got to do it. So, in the end, you add it up. You say, okay, well, look, I'll put a dollar fifteen for the meat, and then I got twenty five cents for cheese, twenty five cents for a bun, five cents for herbs, salt, pepper, a uh, little whatever else, a Worcestershire, uh, forty five cents to put a few French fries on the platter, and I got twenty cents less for topping, and that comes to two dollars and thirty five cents. I'm one cent under. For $2.35, I can give you this cheeseburger platter. And then you say, well, make it. And then you make it and you taste it. You say, well, I don't really like it. It's nothing special about it. So you go back to it and you grind the meat a little bit differently. Or you go back to your meat sales folks and they say, look, we can give you the meat for $4 a pound instead of $4.10 a pound. So you can make a little larger uh, a burger or something. And then you make something and say, you know what? That's really good. This is a good burger for $7.95, and you've crafted something beautiful. And maybe you did something a little extra. Maybe you smoked the meat or, 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 or provide a homemade pickles uh, on the platter for something for $0.20 cents per, for a pickle on the plate or something. But $2.35 is what you're left with. If you make that, if you make that for $2.35, um, then given the yield problems, it'll be $2.44 coming out of the kitchen from the from uh, gross, and then you will end up with having a twelve thousand four hundred and seventy dollars profit from your cheeseburgers if you sell that many, and you will have engineered yourself a profit by challenging your designers to come up with a good product within certain constraints. And you know what? Uh, good designers they like to design just anything, but they really like to design when you give them a challenge. And it's okay to give people a challenge like say, uh, you know, I want a really great cheeseburger on a bun with some french fries on the plate and it can only cost two dollars and forty four cents and they say I don't know if we could do that and you say well you show me and they say okay I'll show you and they'll get it done for you well there's lots of great material on how to figure out purchasing better how to figure out uh, um, plate design better and how to satisfy your customers in the end you have to figure out um, what's the market price and then you gotta do top down bottom up budgeting top down means what's the revenue likely to come in and that's the market price times the number of guests that you're expecting to come into your place top down bottom up means put then you put the profit in and then you start filtering out the rest what have I got left to spend on marketing what have I got left to spend on advertising how much can I spend on benefits and so forth and then in the end then you've got your food uh, budget left over divided by the number of uh, items that you gotta sell and now you know what you've now you've kind of got a equation or a way that you can figure out if I can do it for this price then I can make money. This is Mark Meckwith for Crafting Strategy and this has been a strategy short. Thank you for listening.